Hi, Brian. Good morning, Spencer. <laughs> How are you doing this morning? This morning, I'm incredibly reflective. Sitting here at Jacob's Pillow in the Perla Studio, where we have our 10-day residency. And it's a mix of being very present, which is refreshing after so many months of feeling like I was in hibernation. <laughs> Um, but it's also at the same time reflective. I feel like everything that we're doing here and that I'm involved with feels fleeting. So the sun feels great today out here, um, but it's, it's fleeting. Oh, oh great. That's great you news. Get to go. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Appreciate your time. I can go dance now. I think it's amazing. Wow. Will that work? It'll work. <laughs> So my newest completed dance is Closing Distance. Titled a year ago before I knew what social distancing was. <laughs> so now I'm a little nervous about the title, but new context, reframe art. So we'll keep the title. The piece is made for eight dancers and it's largely inspired by and set to the Pulitzer Prize winning score by Caroline Shaw, Partita for Eight Voices. So eight singers, eight dancers, all sound, all movement of and from the body. So it's really a 27 minute work about touch. To the side. To the side. To the side. To the side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Through the midpoint. To the line drawn. Left side. Six. Out and around 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 and nuanced and detailed and intimate and really is about this kind of idea of replacement and exchange. It's an empathetic work. I almost feel like it's ironic that Brian had made this piece when he did. The majority of the piece revolves around touching and contact and partnering. And then once COVID hit, all that had to go out the window. So to be back doing this piece during such a time, it almost feels wrong. It is so intricate. Every dancer, every arm of every dancer is necessary and integral to making it work. Working for Brian is thrilling. Especially with closing distance, it feels like such a roller coaster. I have to think about so many things and also feel so many things that it's a, it's a lot, but it really feels like a release of the ego because there's so much importance on the group and I love that feeling.
we haven't touched anyone after <laughs> seven months. Everyone's intertwined and like it, like not a day had passed. Every touch is meaningful. The fact that we can touch and that we're in a situation where we're in a group of eight or ten and we're able to really actually physically touch. We can't have that outside of this. The detail of the pattern is movement. The detail of the pattern is three, four, five. The detail of the pattern is movement. The detail of the pattern is four. It feels so good to be touched. It feels so good to be caught. Like that moment now where you come and I'm just like, I just trust you so much and like being caught by you. Like there's nothing in my life that mimics like the feeling of like safety more or and trust more than that which is is so profound i think to be able to find that in dance I don't know what I think of it because my goal is to figure out what Brian wants and to try to make sure that that's what's happening. One of the reasons I love doing this coaching is that often I find a choreographer will have things in their mind and they'll see it because it's in their mind, but we don't see it because we don't have that in our minds. We're not privy to that. And so I'll often, with whomever I'm coaching or mentoring or talking with, say, what are you seeing here? And I'll say, it's not what, what I'm seeing. This is what I'm seeing. I'm only one person. But if you, what about this? And then we'll scrapple with that. And I think I will also say that I know Brian very well now as a, as a creator. And I know his traps. You know, we're now at a place together where I could say, I'm not sure why that's there other than the fact that you, you know it and that it's filler. She's the best magnifying glass <laughs> on this art form that I could ever imagine. And a living legend, she'll kill me for saying that, but um, we all know it and we're very lucky. Um, we, I could not have been here at this time without her. has always served as a, a great haven for artists and dancers and it's always been so special and in this moment where space has been removed for us and as dancers <laughs> we've had our studios closed the performing arts industry is decimated right now it's shuttered and the pillow has figured out a way to open it almost feels like a crime that we get all this space just to ourselves <laughs> And we get to, we just kind of have full run of the grounds. It's amazing. I think it's been really eye-opening to be back around a community of people when I feel like the pandemic has just taken away a sense of community for me. So we've eaten dinner together every night, communally. The first night we were here and we were all sorting through the groceries and I looked down at the dining table and we had 10 people sorting through the same food and getting ready to eat together. It's so simple, but um, so meaningful. You know, and in this moment where we're all struggling, we're uncertain, we've lost identity, we have no purpose. Um, time is just like a fog. And to come to the pillow, it reminds me that this is a moment. <laughs> it's a moment. It feels like eternity, but it's a moment along a long, larger path. The trio still confuses me. <laughs> the rule system is unforgiving in the trio. So each of the dancers 
is only contacting the dancer in front of them at the same point in the body, same side. Right hand to right hand, right wrist to right wrist. Flexion of the elbow to flexion of the elbow. There's no crossing the midline. The music itself really drives all of us, I think, for me especially. Interesting to come back to it on day one, to just go over it, and so much of it was still in our bodies after not touching it for seven months. And, you know, it makes me not lose faith that things aren't all, all the way lost. The residency has proven that this is important work. I feel very confident about it, and the day I arrived here, I didn't feel confident about it. I really didn't know. I have felt completely invigorated by the entire process of this. Documenting this in such a historic place as well, in a historic moment, to be here, I feel so grateful. I think that this has honestly been such an opportunity and this is something I've wanted for so long. So I think it, I'm, I'm in my mind, I am manifesting <laughs> that this is just like the beginning of like a lot of positive things. We're at the end of the residency. I'm speaking now near the end and I'm actually taking a moment of pause because I'm trying to think back to where the residency began and I'm having trouble and that's um, evidence that this 10-day residency has been utterly transformative. I just thank Spencer and Carly, Evan and Stephanie, and Taylor and Zach and Leo and Noel for taking a huge chance. I mean, we're talking about not just risking yourself artistically, but we're actually talking about risking your safety and health. I have never had to ask that of a dancer, and I'm very hopeful I never have to again. Hi, Steph. I'm just over here filming myself. I think it's going great. <laughs> Vinny, look what I did. Oh yeah. <laughs> I set it up. Woo! Yeah, it's nice. Just pretend I'm not here. <laughs> just, I'll stay, like... We just become one. <laughs> <laughs>